for Jess. Need to get myself together, I'm a man. The Kardashians have aced the art of being in the spotlight. Kim Kardashian is undoubtedly the queen of quirky beauty regimes and plastic surgeries. The Keeping Up with the Kardashian star has surprised her fans with her natural look. One of the stunning personalities of Hollywood loves experimenting with her body and looks. The internet went gaga over Kim Kardashian's no makeup look recently. She was getting a dewy look with the help of beauty products from SKKN by makeup artist Mario Dedivanovic. The influencer was endorsing her beauty products when she ended up revealing her bare face. But how did that turn out? Stick around to find out. Together in the past decade. Working with Kim of the past decade has been such an amazing experience and, and with her in particular, like we were both, I feel like we were both so young and we grew up together and we kind of grew up in our careers together. The Kardashian and Jenner simply love to overdo everything, be it makeup or dressing up. The celebrated socialite took the internet by storm when she revealed her no makeup look on TikTok. Kim Kardashian posted a video where she was given a dewy look by makeup artist Mario Dedivanovic. She was given a glam, dewy look with the products from her cosmetics company, SKKN. I think I can make your life so much easier and so How? much cooler if I gave you a makeover. Okay. Um, no, no, just like to do? get rid of some of your sparkly boots and cool I... vibe. Actually, it told I have really good style from a lot of people. The fans were amazed to see Kim without any makeup. Her bare face sparkled with a natural glow. Mario went on to post the video of the socialite's bare-faced makeup routine on his TikTok account, too. The clip instantly went viral and amassed over 10 million views. Mario Dedivanovic even commented on the clip, saying, This was so much fun. The makeup artist explained the step-by-step -step procedure of the fashion icon's beauty routine. He explained this in the first part of the video. All right, guys, so starting out with the SKKN toner. This is going to exfoliate her skin beautifully and get it ready for the rest of the skin prep. All right, so now what I'm doing is I'm applying the SKKN face cream and I'm mixing it with the SKKN oil drops. The post on the Instagram page of SKKN was captioned as the secret to T. Kim Kardashian's dewy glam. Start with a luminous base using the technique she taught at Mario Dedivanovic, combine face cream and oil drops. The entrepreneur's fans were all praises for her clear skin and natural look. Her comment section was buzzing like a bee with the non-stop comments from her fans. The Kardashian-Jenner girls have always been trolled for posting their photoshopped pictures. Recently, Kim was slammed for posting a weird photoshopped picture of hers. The media personality posted a bikini mirror picture on her Instagram page. Her followers started pointing out everything that was wrong with the editing of her picture. Some even went on to defend her in the comment section. In the picture, Kim Kardashian's legs looked way too toned as the sides looked pixelated. One of the Instagram users went on to comment. You can implant everything except from sick long legs. Surprisingly, her middle finger was missing in the highly edited picture of the fashion icon. Someone even pointed out that, wait, where's the middle finger? The SKKN owner has been widely accused of over-editing and photoshopping her pictures. The fans and followers of Kim Kardashian are very much used to seeing the over-enhanced pictures of the famous socialite. Kim, as we all know her, is never short of controversies. And so are her exes, including rapper Kanye West and comedian Pete Davidson, among others. The comedian particularly has been on the news lately, as Pete is reportedly making a big comeback to Saturday Night Live. His ex-girlfriend, who has been a regular attendee at the Met Gala for the past 10 years, is reportedly planning to make an appearance there once again in May. According to a source, Pete will host SNL for the first time on May 6th, nearly a year after leaving the sketch comedy program while the mother of four plans to attend the 2023 Met Gala. According to early reports, the reality star might not be invited after her family's first attendance in 2022. According to rumors, Anna Wintour, the Met Gala chair and editor-in-chief of Vogue, was enforcing stricter requirements for the guest list, which would exclude the Kardashian family. Kim Kardashian will, however, be present at the fashion extravaganza, contrary to recent reports. Her mother, Kris Jenner, as well as her younger sisters, Kendall and Kylie Jenner, have previously attended with other members of the Kardashian-Jenner family. Also, in 2022, Kourtney and Khloe Kardashian attended it for the first time. With her ex-husband Kanye West, Kim K attended the occasion for the first time in 2013, which is referred to as the Super Bowl of Fashion. Her first outfit was a Givenchy creation with a floral print and built-in gloves that caused a stir at the time. Because of her commitment to fashion, she even worked with renowned corset maker Mr. Pearl. 
He even taught her particular breathing techniques so that she would fit into the muggler attire. Her divisive ensemble from 2021, a full black bodysuit by Balenciaga, became a popular meme. However, Kim Kardashian received criticism last year for donning a Jean Louis gown that Marilyn Monroe famously wore in 1962 when she sang, Happy Birthday, Mr. President, to John F. Kennedy. Bob Mackey, the fashion designer, was one of the critics who felt Kardashian shouldn't have worn the priceless item. The star was also charged with damaging the dress's seams. With the event taking place on May 1st and the theme being Karl Lagerfeld, A Line of Beauty, it is still unknown with which designer Kardashian will collaborate. That's the potential plan that Kardashian has. How about her former flame, Pete Davidson? A year after leaving the sketch comedy program, his ex Davidson will reportedly host SNL for the very first time on May 6th. A source close to Davidson revealed, he's very excited to go back. Leaving the show has been a change of pace for him, but in a good way. Meanwhile, he is reportedly also planning to attend the Met Gala just days before making his SNL hosting debut. He will appear on the program to promote his upcoming Peacock comedy series, Bupkis. The series also happens to be executive produced by Lorne Michaels, Davidson's former SNL show host. What are you hoping to see on this year's Met Gala red carpet event? Let us know in the comment section below. Until next time, thank you for watching.